That was a good one, Emily, honestly. hotel shall we have a tour let's do it three large beds incredible look how huge this room is it's ginormous then we have a closet a bathroom with three buckets a bathtub a mirror in the bathroom a toilet Roommates. Every daily vlog. Daily vlog. And a new roomie. And a new roomie. Two chairs. A refrigerator that's not 50 years old. Two desks. A huge air conditioner. A large window. And a door that leads out to the wilderness. We have this whole patio. A bunch of people over there one woman in a poncho <laughs> is that the first wild animal we see at Moli National Park <laughs> and this view obviously it's pouring rain but what the fuck look at that isn't that insane that's the Ghanaian jungle do we think there are elephants out there I don't know this is our whole building and we were just in the bus for seven hours, so we're very happy to be out. Are you guys happy to be out of the bus? Yeah, but we have to be back on it in like twenty-four hours. I don't know. In like two days hours. for a twenty-hour drive. Hours. It's beautiful, Mole National Park. Hello? Yes. Solomon, it's Kevin. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Lexi, what I'm did we- I'm shaking! I'm so scared! I'm so shaking! What if they come back? Like when we're- I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> I don't know what to say! We just had a baboon in our room! We, well, we were both napping! It was scary. And we woke up to a baboon walking on all fours like a <laughs> monkey! Cause it is a monkey! Walk into our room. What door did he come through? That one? That one. He came through the front door! Cause we didn't lock it! Cause we're so stupid! 
stupid. He came through the front door, fucking shuffled all of his weight <laughs> over here, climbed went up there, climbed up to the desk, went through the garbage can, hopped onto the bigger desk, and then ran towards all of my stuff. And I tried to grab it because Lexi woke me up and I was like, Grace, there's a monkey in the room. And I was like, what the fuck? No. And then I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, people told us they could open doors and to go through your food. But I thought because all my food was closed, it was okay. Like, it, they can't smell it. No, he started running towards my bag. So I threw it at him and we ran out the door with no shoes on, screaming, help, 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 help. And some Ghanaians came in with huge rocks and threw rocks at him and he ran out barking at us. L2 right here. <laughs> and we come back in and all my food's everywhere. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm shaking, that was terrifying, he's huge. Friday told us that they rip your face off for food. So I tried to grab my bag, but I threw it at him. It's my bag or my face, I guess. My chocolate's intact, everyone. We're good. But he took the cookies and the wafers. Wow. What's your bag open already? No, no, my bag was closed. He opened the zipper. My shoes are in here in my wallet, and that's all I really need. And my camera was still on the fridge, so those were the three things. Wait. And my phone. I had my phone while I was running. So those are the four things. First day at Mole National Park. And they're not... We're yeah, we're in the fucking jungle. They're not fucking around out there. The outside's a dangerous place. Do not bring any food to Mole National Park. So scary. People are not gonna believe us, or they're gonna believe us because we're both idiots. Are you guys excited for the safari? Yeah, yeah, is that how you feel? How do you feel about the safari? I am so excited. You wanna sit on the top of the truck? <laughs> Antoinette, how do you feel about the safari? Oh, I'm so excited. What time is it in the morning? It's like 6 something. 6.45? How was last night, Rumi? Scary. We look only a little tired. Yeah, I'm Like just tired. a little. Nina, how do you feel about the safari? Mm -hmm. Elephants. <laughs> That's a warthog right there. We're not, it was yellow. Can you, can you repeat that, please?
There they are, stalking Hi. the room. I want you to see me. I'm gonna go into the bathroom, see if we can see anything in there. Is there anything out here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, what's that? There he is. Oh, stalking us ever since. We've been stalked this entire time by a herd of baboons. And now they're standing waiting. And they're just waiting for us to open the door for them. Yeah, fucking right, bro. Funny. They were banging on our walls all night last night. Like just pounding the door, scratching the windows, asking <laughs> us to open it for them. And that's not gonna happen. I don't mind during the day, at night it's scary. Yeah, at night it's way freakier. So this morning we went on a safari. We woke up at 5.50 in the morning to go on a safari and we saw all of these elephants within the first like five minutes. And then we saw antelope, waterback, lots of deer looking things. It was really cool. Then we went to the pool and I got a little burned, but a lot of people got burned. I didn't get any color up in Nangoti, but the second I stepped by a chlorinated pool, I turned red. And I look way redder on this screen than I actually am. Is that better? No, it's making me look like a tomato. Okay. I'm not, I promise. Hello. Hey, Gary. Waiting for the monkeys? They're all right here. Yeah, in front of our room, right? So there's no way we're getting out. Oh, we're right here. Maybe like, but then they, you're at that door, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it now. It's right there. Dude, they're everywhere. One, two monkeys over here. A warthog. One monkey right there. One over there. And a family of warthogs back there by that guy. That warthog is so ugly. And they're just stuck in the front of our house. Internet, Emily, can like you give me an update on what's going on? <laughs> We've been on the bus tired. since five this morning. Some people have actually been on the bus since four thirty this morning. Oh my God. I was actually here at 4 o'clock this morning. I was here at 4.03. Wow. Yeah. Anyways. None of my bags were packed. It's so now, it's time. 8.30. It's now 8.30, so we've been on the bus for four hours or something like that. Are you sure? We're, We're going to be on the bus more. again okay. until like 2, which is when we'll have a late lunch in Kumasi. Ew. How's everyone else feeling over here? I have a night, but it can be done. Chanel. Great. Does he popping take right popping Advil? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something yeah, really good. Uh, I think, personally, I think it's going great. And I'm having a fantastic time. Okay, after a 14 hour drive from Mole to Accra, last night we made it to our final hotel at like 7 p.m. Um, we unpacked all of our stuff, walked to dinner. Um, the dinner place had slushies or like really liquidy fruit smoothies, so we all got huge ones. Then we came back and went immediately to bed. We've woken up this morning, packed up all of our stuff. We're about to head out to the Accra Mall, and we're just gonna hang out there all day, try not to get too sweaty, because tonight we take off at 10 p.m.
smile. Our first American meal. Burgers. They're veggie burgers, man. Veggie burger and wow. avocado. That is fancy as hell. Hell yeah. Wow. Beach. I <laughs> no! Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> home now from my Ghana trip. I'm back in Tampa in my new apartment and I wanted to thank you so much for watching this series. I had so much fun on my trip and I had so much fun filming it so thank you so much for coming along with me. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for all the things I'm going to film while I'm home here in Tampa, Florida. It's the summertime, so I'm working my summer job, but I'm definitely going to keep making more videos around here. And then, of course, whenever I go on my next trip, you will be coming along with me there as well. So thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!